Hello, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Please Don't Make a Podcast, the uh, supplemental podcast to the Please Don't Make a Scene show here on the channel. And uh, this is just going to be a little bit of freeform podcasting for like, I don't know, 40 minutes to an hour, depending. Um, I'm not going to go for a script here or anything. Uh, it's going to be like my update videos that I've made a couple of times, you know, or my for all the Logan fans, if you've seen that. But it's going to be a little bit more long form and it's going to be uh, a weekly thing. Probably, I'm recording this on a Monday, so it's going to get a, come up on a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, expect these on Tuesdays. And uh, yeah, that's actually a, a good way to start this off. Because if you've been watching my channel since, um, I guess late October last year when I really started making videos regularly again for the first time in years um, where I actually you know wanted to start making semi-professional videos if you will um, I, I I lost my train of thought well that's what happens when you freeform it um, well yeah I, I am I talked about making a podcast before um, and I've talked about making, like, a weekly show, but that never happened, um, because one, like, ten minute video a week, that's not gonna, that's not gonna quench the thirst of my many, many fans, um, but yeah, oh, that was what I was gonna say, <laughs> if you've uh, followed my channel, you've noticed probably by now that I haven't made a video in quite a while, it's been, like, almost two weeks now, which is a long time, um, on my channel, uh, I've been trying to make at least, at least one video a week for the last while, but um, because of some unforeseen, uh, should I say, happenings, uh, I haven't been able to um, make a video. My main camera uh, shut down, basically. I haven't been able to film anything because I haven't had a camera, a working camera. Um, but it actually came at a good time. Um, because I had I had intended to take a, a, a small break uh, in my uploading schedule to actually figure out a proper schedule because I for the for the last couple of months or for the last like three four months I've just been releasing videos uh, like scatterbrained like every time I saw a movie I just made a, a review of it and I put it up. There was never really a schedule for 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 my uh, viewers or my subscribers to to follow, so they knew like ah every Wednesday he's gonna make a a new movie review, and every Friday is a retro review or anything like that. So that's that's actually why I'm taking a break now, because I I want to make it more structured here on the show, um or here on the channel I should say, where I where I know exactly how many videos I have to make every week, and I know which uh, which days they're going to be uploaded, and it's so I can tell you, so you know when to expect new content on my channel. Um, and I'm also taking a little bit of time off to work on my uh, next retro review, which I have been hinting at for a while. Um, I started writing it a while back, realizing that, oh, this is not just like a 15-minute video. This is going to be a long one. So um, that particular review might actually be a while, so I'm looking at some other retro movies, or older movies at least, um, to make reviews of in the meantime. But, anyway, uh, that is not what this podcast is going to be, just me updating you, this is just how I'm starting it off, because, well, that's kind of why I'm making a podcast, so I can give you some content um, while the, the, the camera issues are being fixed, uh, which, you know, they, they, they're being fixed as we speak, um, but anyway... Uh, the podcast is, though, something that I've wanted to make for a while. Uh, I actually had a podcast back back in uh, 2014 that I, I ran, like, 40 episodes over two years. That's not too good, though. Um, it was in Swedish. Um, and, you know, I, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, so I, I wanted to bring it back, but I've, I, you know, making the videos takes a lot of time. So that, you know, but now... With a more structured release schedule, I can actually fit in where I can make a podcast and not. So, uh, yeah, but as my schedule is looking now, there will be um, 
one podcast every week where I just, you know, talk about whatever. It's just, it's basically me venting. It could be, it's never, it's never going to be reviews. Reviews are reserved for videos. I can tell you that. Um, but it could be like uh, movie news. Uh, it could be uh, a little bit of, you know, like think pieces. Um, it could just be me shooting the shit. Um, and hopefully in the future I will have interviews here. Uh, probably mostly with uh, Swedish industry people. Um, but, you know, maybe we'll try to make them in English as well. So, uh, yeah, the, the podcast is going to be once every week. Um, and as it's looking right now, I'm going to have one or two uh, movie reviews every week. And one retro review every week. That's about it. And my little, like, extra reviews, my short ones, like the uh, Disney Promotes Bestiality video, like those ones, or uh, Logan Sucks, uh, I mean, they only take me, like, half an hour from sitting down to uploading it. So uh, those will probably be coming out um, together with the proper reviews, like I have been making uh, for the last couple of videos. So... Um, the schedule is not done, though, but that is how it's looking right now. Uh, I'm going to refine it because, you know, I don't have a lot of followers. I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, but I've noticed that a few of my videos have been, you know, picking up some steam, especially the Logan Sucks video. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I want to make this more professional because uh, I, 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 I want to... I wanna, yeah, I want to gain a larger following and, you know... It has to be more professional than it is now. I, I'm I'm quite happy with the quality of my videos right now. Um, on a um, how should I say on a, on a, on an editorial level, the technical level, however, I mean I'm I don't know if you know this, but I've been filming like from the start. I've been filming my reviews with my cell phone. So, um, but yeah, the, like I said before, the, uh, the the phone actually works pretty well for that. But yeah. As, as the channel grows, I, of course, want to make it more professional. Um, and, be, you know, that will hopefully bring in an even larger audience. So, uh, yeah, that's why I want to take this little bit of time off to uh, do this. And now I've been ranting about that for about seven and a half minutes. So let's actually get into what I wanted to talk about uh, in, in, in movie-related news. And as you can tell from the... Uh, title of this inaugural podcast it's going to be about marvel um more specifically i'd say it's about the new thor trailer and 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 um the issues i i have with it or or, or wish i had with it i should say let's just say like this um back in late 2015 i i was done with superhero movies or, um, yeah, I, I, I was just, I was done with them. I've never been a big fan of the Marvel movies. Um, even if I, I do like a few of them, I actually like a couple of them a lot. Um, but I, I, um, and I've said this before on, on, on earlier, uh, blogs before YouTube, and I've probably said it in some videos on the channel, I'm not sure. But yeah, just in a nutshell, I, I, I think the, the whole expanded universe thing is kind of scummy. Um, it, 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 even if, even if, you know, they, they all, they want to make like quality content, they want to make good movies. It's all just a business plan. And, um, the, um, the independent person in me, uh, want to see every movie even a $200 sci-fi action movie I want to see that as a piece of art more than a a, a, a a profit machine if you will so to actually plan out like 20 movies over 15 years it feels it feels it feels somewhat well first of all it feels stifling uh, because you know that the movies, you know, they have to kind of follow suit. They all have to be kind of the same. So they're like episodes in a, in a TV show, um, which that is also a big problem for me because I, I can't handle, uh, TV shows. Uh, but that's that we can talk about that another time. Um, this long form storytelling, let's say that long form storytelling is something I have a problem with. And that is why I, I like movies, you know, that have a beginning, middle and end. 
And so far, the the Marvel Cinematic Universe has only been like a beginning, and we're it feels like we've sort of hit the middle. But I mean, we've we've been watching these Marvel movies now for like ten years, and um, we, we, there's really no end in sight. So um, and that's why I've, I, I've I've always felt that you know the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole is a bad thing. Uh, are there good movies in it? Yes, there is. There are actually some really good movies, like I said. So, back in 2015, when I was watching the trailers for uh, Batman vs. Superman, uh, well, that's a DC movie, but the same thing with the DC Expanded Universe. It, that's even worse. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's much, much worse. But anyway, um, watching trailers for uh, Civil War and Suicide Squad, of course, uh, and having just seen Age of Ultron and Ant-Man, I was just fed up with uh, superhero movies, or comic book movies, or expanded universe movies. Uh, oh, and, oh, um, you could also include uh, The Force Awakens in that. Um, but we're talking about Marvel now. I'm not going to shit on Star Wars right now. This is not that podcast. Um, yeah, so I I remember telling myself, or telling my sister, I think. Um, she is usually the... Uh, the person I go to uh, go to the movies with. If I'm not bringing a friend, it's it's usually uh, my sister because she likes movies as well. Um, that I remember, I, I told her that if Batman vs Superman doesn't live up to the hype, or if it you know if it sucks, I am done with um, uh, superhero movies or expanded universe movies. I, I just I I I, ca I can't keep going to the cinema and being. Uh, this disappointed, especially when they're like superheroes that I remember from my childhood and just watching them being destroyed on on the big screen. So, um, yeah, we went and saw uh, Batman vs. Superman, and, you know, like everyone else, we hate it. I uh, hate it with a passion. It is a terrible, terrible, terrible movie. And I was like, no, uh, that's it. I, I, I am done. I am done with superhero movies. <sighs> or so I thought. Uh, because, and, and here's what, why, why I mentioned the Thor, the Thor trailer in the beginning. When the, when I kept watching the trailers for, especially Suicide Squad, it was like, it looks good though. So I went and saw that as well, because I thought maybe this one is better. I mean, it's got, it's got all the stars. It's got a good director. The trailer looks good. Maybe it will be good. And he was arguably even worse no it was worse than batman vs superman it was just a terrible terrible movie and, and 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 during that we saw the trailers for civil war and i was like no i'm not gonna go watch that i'm not gonna go see civil war i'm done with superhero movies um but my sister uh, actually bought me a ticket because she wanted to go see civil war so i went and saw with her so once again i wasn't done with superhero movies now Civil War wasn't as bad as uh, Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad, but it was still not, you know, particularly good in my in my in my uh, opinion. Uh, it was just it was just a, a it was just a big dull gray punch fest that amounted, you know, to nothing in the end. Uh, it started at zero. It got all the way up to 10, you know, when they were fighting in the airport. It was a great, just one of the dumbest and silliest and still, you know, funniest scenes in an action movie in a long time. Oh, so ridiculous. And then it just, you know, it it, it, it went down to, to, it went back to zero again. Um, it, it, it didn't resolve anything. It didn't evolve anything. Um, and we, we know that, you know, the Avengers are still the Avengers come Infinity War. So, uh, what, what was the point? They're, they're, they started out as friends. They became, they became enemies and, and, and uh, ended as friends again. So, what was the point? But anyway, um, so after that, I was like, no, nah, well, that's it. No more superhero movies. No more superhero movies. Well, as you all know, the, the first official Please Don't Make a Scene was... Um, <laughs> Doctor Strange. <laughs> and why did I go see that? Well, because of because of the trailer, because of the hype, and because I thought it would bring in views because people like those kind of movies. That's 
honestly one of the reasons. But mostly the trailer. The fact that we, we, we got to see like some quality quality actors you know show up in that trailer. We had um, of course Benedict Cumberbatch, we had Matt Mickelson, one of my personal favorites. Um and it was just like the the trailer was so enticing. I mean I, I, I just I just couldn't bring myself not to go see it. So yeah, the trailer sold it to me and was it any good? It was okay. Like I said back then, seven out of ten. But I mean the, the trailer made it look so good. Um, and I said, well, that's, that's the final one then. I mean, if they're not going to get any better than this, why am I still watching these movies? I'm so tired of superhero movies. And then the, uh, mid credit sequence, I suppose it is, um, shows up and it's, um, the, the, the teaser for Ragnarok, if you will. You know, I don't know if you've seen Doctor Strange, but we see Thor sitting down talking to, uh, Stephen Strange. And that's supposed to be the, uh, the, uh, how do you say it in, in English? Uptakt. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like a teaser for the next one, which is, uh, Thor Ragnarok. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, another Thor movie. I, well, I don't like the Thor movies. Maybe, 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 um, uh, maybe I won't have to go see that one. But then in the coming months, I started reading about it and I was like, oh, it's, it's based on Planet Hulk. Fuck. Oh, it's directed by Taika Waititi. And I'm like, no, no. Why do they keep doing this? It was like, because Planet Hulk is, is an, such an incredible um, premise, you know, that we get to see Hulk, like, fight in a, in a gladiator, on a gladiator stage. And this one, he's fighting Hulk, uh, Thor. It's just, ugh. It sounds like so much fun. And the fact that it's Taika Waititi um, that is directing. The guy that made uh, uh, Eagle vs. Shark and uh, What We Do in the Shadows. If you, Oh, if you haven't seen that one, uh, that is one of the funniest movies uh, uh, of, the, of this uh, second millennium we, we have been existing here. Um, go see it. It's like a mockumentary about uh, some vampires that share an apartment in New Zealand and it is phenomenally funny. Anyway, um, so I was like, oh, well, once again, I'm going to break my promise because I got to go see that one. And I was kind of hoping to kind of forget it uh, or just, you know, force myself not to go see it. And then I see the trailer and I was like, oh, wow, they have Jeff Goldblum as well. So it's Taika Waititi directing Planet Hulk with Jeff Goldblum in it. And I was like, no, no, no. The trailer, once again, just like all the other times, just like with Steve, um, Doctor Strange, just like with um, Batman vs Superman and, and, and Suicide Squad and Civil War, I was like, the trailer just tells the movie so well. So, yeah. I am gonna go see uh, <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. Even though I don't want to. I don't want to see any more of those kind of movies. I, um, I, I want to watch quality cinema. But the trailers are so good. They're deceptively good, mostly. Same thing with uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume 2. That that trailer looks amazing. And I, and I, I know I'm going to go see it. I even have the ticket. Well, technically, my, my sister have the ticket. Uh, it's all, it's already booked, man, like, weeks, weeks, and weeks in advance, uh, um, well, well, it's, that's also partly because I, I liked the first Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't love it as much as everyone else, but, uh, I did really like it, um, it was a good movie, it was one of the better, uh, Marvel movies, but, uh, I, I had no intention of go, going to see the second one, because I was like, yeah, I, I saw it, it was fun, um, if there's a second one, I, I don't think I'm going to see it. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, of course I'm going to go see it. And I was like, oh no. And I'm, and I'm sitting down to watch these movies and I'm, I'm like knowing well in advance now, even now that I'm probably not going to enjoy them as much as I enjoy the trailer. And it just, it irritates me. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, that was my main talking point in uh, in this podcast um that yeah trailers man 
especially trailers for these kind of movies. They, they, they really know how to make good trailers for the Marvel movies. It's annoying. It, it's, it's annoying how good the trailers are. And they've been getting better as well. I, I mean, the trailer, the trailers or trailer, I don't know, I think I've only seen one trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is some of the, it's one of the funniest trailers I've seen in a while. Um, and I know the, the, the whole ad campaign for Ant-Man was so great. That poster that was just white and it said Ant-Man, I think. And then it was like a little speck in the middle. And if you look really closely, it was Ant-Man. It was like, ah, oh, that's that's so witty. That's so funny. That's so smart. It's kind of different. It wasn't your regular Marvel mashup action poster. It was funny. And then the movie turned out to be okay. Um, it, I guess you could say it was one of the better ones. and But at the same time, not. I don't know that that one that one we could we could make an entire podcast about that debacle um with the behind the scenes stuff there but yeah um they they re what I want to say is they really 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 know how to sell these marvel movies and uh yeah it's annoying that I I can't uh I can't shield myself from that that I constantly keep breaking this this promise I made myself to stop watching these ridiculous Marvel movies. And time after time, I keep going back and watching them. I mean... Yeah. Ever since... Um, what was the movie? Yeah, ever, ever since the first Captain America, back in 2011, yeah. I remember, because I wanted to go see Thor, because I like Norse mythology, so maybe that can be fun then, even though it's the Marvel version of Norse mythology. Um... But back then, watching the Captain America trailers, I was like, no, oh, I don't want to go see this. This has gone too far, I thought, even back then. with the, with the, Back then, when we had Iron Man 1 and 2, we had that terrible Incredible Hulk movie. Uh, and now they were really just make. It felt like they were making um, Thor and Captain America as kind of like just teasers for the... Um, first Avengers movie and I just that was when I started feeling like ah this is not this is not art this is business so all the way back in 2011 I was like saying no I don't want to watch these Marvel movies and still I've seen every one of them and probably like 90% of them I've seen in the cinema and 90% of them have been disappointments so um uh, yeah they really know how to um, how to sell these movies, even to a person that don't want to watch them. They 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 just they make me you know want to watch them against my own will almost. That's how that's how well they sell them. But uh, yeah, and it's and it's the same thing with this uh, this new Thor Ragnarok trailer. It just and coupled with that, I know who the director is, and, and Jeff, the, now seeing Jeff Goldblum in the trailer, it's just like, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go see it. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I want to talk about today. I talked about well, why I've been absent for a while, talked a little bit about the schedule. I think that's it. We're closing in on 25 minutes here. Yeah, it's going to be a little shorter. Um, it's going to be without an intro or anything like that. You know how it, it... This is, yeah. This podcast is going to be the same style as Please Don't Make a Scene. Very, um, very simple. Uh, I want the quality... Uh, the quality should be in what I say, not not in the presentation. Um, I, I, I am the opposite of a Marvel movie. Uh, I'm interesting, but not very. I'm interesting to listen to, uh, but not very interesting to look at. While uh, the Marvel movies are, yeah, they're pretty interesting to look at because there's there's a bunch of explosions, there's a bunch of uh, good-looking people. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Chris Hemsworth. I'm talking about you, Scarlett Johansson. Um, but you know, there there's not really much to you know beyond that, beyond the surface. 
my, my show is more about what's under the surface because you know just looking at me it's, 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 not, it's not much to look at but anyway <laughs> yeah that's uh, that's that's about it um yeah i should also take the time now just when we're when we're here uh in this first episode and since we're, we're running a little a little short as it is I could uh, I could spend some time here talking about uh, my uh, yeah my my Patreon yeah I should just come out and say it because I've had a Patreon for a while y'all know that um, I say it in almost every video I I, I tell you to uh, sneak a peek at my Patreon and see what you can do to further um, uh, support this show and this channel and um, so far it has kind of worked I actually have one Patreon. Or one patron, it's called. Um, so yeah, now I'm I'm raking in the big bucks here now, um, clocking in about uh, two dollars a month now. And um, while I'm eternally grateful to that one patron, I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, I know some of my friends know who it is though. But uh, anyway, um, why I have a Patreon? Um, I, I, if you've if you've ever read my my Patreon page, you know why, uh, but I'm pretty sure not too many have read it. So that, that, it, let's just take a few minutes to tell you why I have a Patreon, why I am, quote unquote, e begging. Um, well, first of all, I want to be able to make this show more professional, but to make this show more professional, what I need isn't really money; it's time. However, time is valuable. Because I have um, a, 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 a regular 9-to-5 job that I have to do every day, uh, every weekday. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's eight hours where, where I uh, have to do that. And then when I, when I get home from work, um, that's when I have time to work on my YouTube channel. That doesn't leave a lot of work, though, uh, or a lot of time to work on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's 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 uh, weeknights and weekends. However, with the help of Patreon, I could actually spend less time with my 9-to-5 job, you know, cut down on the hours working there, and work more on my show or my channel and make it more professional, give you more content, um, get better equipment, even though I have... I have uh, Sufficient equipment as it is. The, the money wouldn't go to equipment first and foremost. It would actually go um, towards uh, rent, basically. Rent and food and uh, giving me a chance to um, to spend less time working to make money and instead uh, working on YouTube and make money uh, for my content. Because the more money I can make off my YouTube content, the more time I can spend on making my YouTube content, and the better production qualities uh, uh, I will have. So that's that's basically what my Patreon is for. It, it, it's to give me uh, an economic freedom to work more on my hobby, and to turn it from a hobby into an actual profession. Instead of having to split my time between an actual job, uh, I shouldn't say that nowadays, people make a lot of money off of YouTube, but you know what I mean, an actual job outside of YouTube, and then working on YouTube, I could instead focus wholeheartedly on YouTube, so that's what my Patreon is for, um, but my first goal um, is actually not that uh, high-flying, it's only, my first uh, milestone is 70 bucks a month, and that would cover um, four visits to the cinema every month here in Sweden, and if I could do that, that would um, that would help me, you know, that would benefit me, and I, uh, in that I wouldn't have to spend my hard-earned cash on movie tickets. I could actually just, you know, see it as a as a uh, as a part of my of my semi-professional uh, critiquing of movies. To actually, uh, yeah, don't have to pay for the tickets myself, if <laughs> if you will. So that's my first goal, um, and. If that's where it stops at seventy bucks a month, that would be amazing. I, I could live with that. That would just be amazing to to know that people like my stuff enough to give me seventy bucks a month. That would be great. Um, but of course, the goal is to be able to live off Patreon and to be able to work, uh, you know, full time on my YouTube channel. On please don't make a scene. 
So that's why I have the Patreon. And that's um, why I'm so grateful um, for this one patron I have and for any future patrons, uh, patrons that I uh, hopefully will get. But even the support I've been seeing on the channel uh, with uh, likes and new subscriptions, it's just, it's just, it's just great to s it's so um, amazing to see. Um, and to, to, uh, you know, get feedback from people, even if, even if a lot of the comments are kind of hateful, especially in the Logan video, that's just great to know that people actually watch my stuff. That is, um. Uh, that it's that is quite the boost actually but um yeah but what i what i what i really need especially in these dire times you know when 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 all the um advertisers are leaving youtube not that i'm really noticing it uh, uh my content has hasn't lost what little ad revenue it's getting uh because i i tend not to swear um and i talk about movies it doesn't get more innocuous than that um, but if my channel would grow, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to censor myself if I sometimes would like to say something, oh, crazy or radical, you know, um, uh, I, I would like to be able to say what I want, uh, and not, you know, have to censor myself in order to make money from ads on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's why I have the page, Patreon instead. Um, and, uh, because it, it it frees it frees up um, a lot of the stuff you have to think about when you make YouTube videos, especially in these times. So um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, if you like my channel, um, please um, tell your friends about it. If you have if you like movies and you have friends that like movies, and you like to watch movie reviewers on YouTube, um, and well, I don't I shouldn't brag, but um, yeah, I mean, if you if you watch like Chris Stuckman, he's a great reviewer. If you watch Jeremy Jans, he's also a pretty good reviewer. Um, if you watch those guys, uh, the Flick Pick, Joe Schmo Show, you know, you you you're you're gonna like my stuff. Um, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> that sounds so. <laughs> sounds like I'm thumbing my nose at people here now. Oh, I'm I'm just as good as them, almost better. That's not what I'm saying. But anyway, um. Yeah, and and if you like if you like my stuff, you should share it with your friends. That's that's um that's what I that's what I'm trying to say. Share it with your friends. Um, uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, because um, yeah, there's a bit of drought now, but come May, I will be starting up the the show again properly, um, and um, we're gonna be reviewing some movies. Um, and I, I'll probably do, you know, um, a, a recap of the movies I've watched uh, during April, of course, of course. But um, yeah, that, that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, if you like this channel, and I know I have a few supporters out there, um, and you know who you are, that is always, you know, sharing my videos on Facebook, sharing my links uh, in social media. Um, big ups to, uh, you know who you are, I, I don't want to name drop, um, but if, if, if all of you that like my stuff would do the same, I would be eternally grateful, and if you could find it in your heart to, uh, to look up my, my Patreon, and, and, uh, yeah, look at the tiers, um, you don't have to give a lot, I mean, one dollar, I think is the lowest tier, yeah, I put one dollar, I put a lot of tiers up, um, just for fun, but, you know, any, any amount is great, and uh, it's it's just it's just once a month. I I know some channels on YouTube do like one per video, but that would be a lot of money. Um, uh, if I'm gonna make like four or five videos a week, so that's just crazy. No, no, this is a this is a monthly subscription, if you will. Um, and you will and you will know that that your money will go towards making the channel better. So uh, yeah. That's me. Uh, now I'm done e-begging. I'm done selling my soul here for money. Um, thank you for listening to the first episode of Please Don't Make a Podcast. Um, um, and um, yeah, expect another one in about a week. And expect more videos in May. But until then, like I always say, have a good one.